over the map. Oh, right there. He's chasing it. There we go. Small guy. Oh, maybe. Oh, no. Don't want that guy. That's a hard head. But you see that little bait getting hit on and splashing. And that's kind of, you know, you see that happening. You want to throw right on top of them. Right on top of that bait. But that was a little hard head. Pop. Oh no. That's a hard head. What are you? Nope. Same spot, different species. Little baby drum. <laughs> baby puppet. Right on the chin. He almost got away with it. I mean, no, that's kind of. A lesson you know you gotta cast where the bait are sometimes it's as far as you can sometimes it's close but it cast where the bait is and where the disturbance is happening my like mother is running right through that area over and over again Chasing that mullet, chasing that bait. Oh, nice one. Let me get him up here. Got him. Ooh, that's a nice guy. Nice big one. Just in that mullet, just like right in front of me. Look at that big old guy. That is a good fish. Look at that big one. Nice, beautiful start of the morning. Get him off. What's up? We're doing a catch and cook. So first thing you need to do is you need to get your grill together. Now I'm doing this to do a half shell on a, on a charcoal grill. So I'm gonna get the get the charcoal ready. In case you're not familiar, I like to use a, a chimney starter to get my grill going. In case you never never used one of these before it's very helpful the first thing you need to do is you need to get paper to shove in the bottom of your chimney starter it adds any kind of newspaper will work you get a couple of full sheets of be about the size of maybe two sheets of what a newspaper would be and you cram it is that just one yeah it's kind of thick Cram it in there, right there. Ball it up a little bit. That's gonna be, it's gonna be what you, uh, what you're gonna burn your, your charcoal briquette 
wood. All right. There we go. And now we're gonna take some kefir. Top that off right in there. And then we're gonna go around and light the newspaper all around. Try to do it as evenly as possible. A little lighter there. On that side. See if I can squeeze in there. Is it lit? I think it is. We're doing a speckled trout on a half shell. I kind of experiment with half shell with reds and sheep head. I know people kind of been on me about doing a uh, catch and cook for a while now. And I don't really eat fish, so. If I don't eat fish, I'm not really going to know how to prepare it. And I'm really not into cooking. What you want to do is as soon as these charcoal on top start getting a little ashy around the ends, that's when you know it's done. So that fire is going to ignite kind of like a rocket stove and get that charcoal all nice and even. I got my cool little setup right here. Yeah, Igloo's playing the old table roof for me today. But yeah, but like I said, you know, I, I've been experimenting a little bit with with uh, using fish or cooking fish, grilling fish on the half shell. And um, I like it. I like it. I like sheephead especially. Sheephead tastes very good to me. Uh, redfish tastes okay. It tastes okay. Um, and then I had some pompano. I didn't do pompano in the half shell. I did pompano in the oven. We just baked it. And pompano, whoo. Pompano is where it's at. That's really, really good. I see why people always get excited when they catch them. Um, I've normally just given mine away. So you can kind of see what the fire is dying down a little bit. And the smoke is dying down. And you'll see some of the, the ones on top. So we're getting a little charcoal around them. A little gray around them. That's... Uh, that's when it's time to grab this and then dump it and flip. But I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna grab the fish and I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna show you how I'm seasoning it. I have my little sous chef right here. Hey Daisy, you helping helping me today? You can help me today make some fish? She loves coming outside. She loves smelling that grill. She sees me with the charcoals and she's ready to go. Hi little girl. All right. So I'm doing this outside because I'm lazy. I don't feel like cleaning up my kitchen. <laughs> but but all right, so like the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna drizzle it, drizzle it all in the filet. Now do it on the half shell. The, we do still have the skin and the scales on, and we scored the the fish. So all the seasoning and the butter and olive oil, all that can get into uh, into the crevices so you're really seasoning like the whole fish and not just like the top or the bottom we're, we're, we're seasoning the whole thing so you need a spoon right here I'm gonna give it real I'm just gonna drizzle it on here and then I'm gonna go back and rub it in with my fingers now I actually filleted this fish it was my first time filleting uh, uh, a flat a flounder a speck of trout in a really long time um, I, I'm, I, I'm terrible at flame fish I normally don't do it I my buddy Cody does it for me so I think I did a very good job I went out and bought the uh, best knife that I could afford uh, on the market and it was a Danko skinny flex and let me tell you um, I know it has a factory edge on it, but man, that that uh, that knife laid these these trout so good. And a lot of the area where I may have made an error, um, I was able to bounce back because I had that really nice nice blade bladed knife flex blade. It's a nine inch fillet. And it's pretty, pretty awesome. 
All right, so what, what seasonings do I have? What season am I rolling with? I'm rolling with a grub rub, uh, lemon pepper, garlic powder, and Uncle Chris seasoning. I love Uncle Chris seasoning from Fiesta Spices. It's, it's freaking awesome. Um, if you never use it before, I suggest you try it. I put it on everything. I put it on eggs, and I'm just gonna give a little light coating of garlic powder. I, I didn't grab any salt. I didn't grab any pepper. I didn't grab anything spicy. So if you're into spices, and you know, obey or whatever, whatever seasoning and a little bit of Uncle Chris's, whatever seasoning you're into, fish or spice wise, you go right ahead. I'm allergic to pepper. I can't, I can barely handle, handle like Arby's. Arby's makes me sweat so bad. I can't handle mild, I can't handle anything. So, good one with a barbecue seasoning, a grub rub, this is an awesome seasoning. And the uh, reason why I went with barbecue was just a simple fact that I really don't like fish. I'm not into fish. So, I wanted to taste as little like fish as possible. So putting it on the grill, getting that charcoal taste, putting grub rub on it, putting a barbecue seasoning on it is going to really take a lot of that out. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna open up these fillets right here. These cubes where we're talking about where the seasoning goes. I'm gonna open it up and get all the all the seasoning back in here. I can handle a little bit of pepper. That's why I'm using lemon pepper just for the taste but you can see right here you can open that up a little bit get all that seasoning in between your scores on your meat really works great like that I'm gonna rub it all in there my dog is going crazy she's like yes yes I want some fish she's like I never had it before but I want it you know and, the, and my family members they'll, they'll re-season it however they want you know they'll put an extra some extra little spice extra little kick extra little sauce on it because of the yo man like i said i'm allergic so i can have just a little bit but not too too much a lot of times we will have my own food aside now i put some healthy healthy dose of grub rub on here i'm still new to cooking fish uh, I've only tried it a handful of times preparing fish so I don't really know what I'm doing just yet I'm just kind of winging it all right and we're gonna take some butter baby I'm gonna take some butter it's kind of been out and in, in the heat already so it's kind of kind of starting to melt a little bit I put this butter all in here yeah, it's kind of mushy. It mushed on me. We're gonna we're gonna make it work. Butter this all up. Get it all in the cracks. Get it everywhere. Try to get it all in there. And when this butter starts cooking and starts melting, it's gonna go in all of those grooves, all those cores, and. We'll also take butter and lime juice and we'll pour over this when we're done. We're making fish tacos, by the way. And we're just pasting it all on. Very healthy servings of uh, butter because it's nice and healthy for you. And I just made a mess of that butter, but it's, it's what it is. All right, so you can see how it's starting to turn white. A little charcoal on the top. So the fire is pretty much where we want it. What I'm gonna do is just take this and dump that over there. All right, so now that I use these tongs and move the charcoal around, flatten it out just a little bit. You could add more if you wanna add more. Um, the, the fish are gonna cook relatively fast, so I'm not too, too worried about it. But if I have to add a few more charcoal just to keep it going, I will. All right, the grill is on there. I'm gonna take some foil to 
just to pull down about the length of the fish. Kind of help keep it keep it from getting the grill too too dirty. Put on the foil. Oh, come on. Come on. Might be able to get them all on here. Yeah, baby. Come on, slummy guy. Alright, so. We got them all cooking. Let's space them just a little bit. You can hear them just like immediately start. As soon as they touch, they're just they're just going to town. And this really shouldn't take that long. This should probably only take like maybe I don't know seven minutes. But yeah, you can see they're just they're just going to town now. I'm gonna put this on. <clears throat> just trying to keep the fire down a little bit. I'm trying to keep the fire control just a little. Open that up. Get some circulation. Make sure we have this bottom open for some circulation right there it's gonna open right there that's open and they're cooking. they're cooking but yeah you want to get your temp to about medium high but I'm not really being that technical today I'm just kind of throwing it all together and just trying to make it work I mean you know it's a lazy day lazy weekend we have Labor Day weekend just me and the wife at the house so figured I'll make the fish I caught a couple days ago all right, so I got my Thermo Pro, and once 145 is what you need for fish. So you probably really don't even need this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use it because I have it, and just want to make sure that we are cooking this. I'm gonna test the deepest, the biggest part, thickest part first, and it's around 93. This one is. Twenty-seven, one thirty-five. That's good. The small ones are probably already done. Yeah, the small ones are probably already finished or close to it. So we'll give it a little more time. I'm gonna slide that foil over just a little more, just so we can be that bigger one can be right in the line of fire where it needs to be that real thick fillet. So I'm gonna grab it with these tongs right here and just slide it back and over just a little bit. Can do smaller ones are probably gonna be cooked so I'm gonna push them off the major heat the major the major part that's the hottest one other way you can check if you don't have a thermometer is to take a butter knife and if your your knife goes in there real smooth like that oh yeah see that's really done see how well that goes in this one it's a little still it's a little firm still so it's not quite done but that that should be pulled off Let's see if we can, yeah, see that's, that's really done. So let me get this guy out of here and off there. See how easy that comes off? Very easy. Yeah, that's, that's the done part. Look how easy that comes off. Look at that. Oh, oh, that got a little sloppy. That was a little sloppy, wasn't it? Get that scratch underneath it. Yeah. Oh, we didn't make it with that piece. Dun, dun, dun. I'm in trouble. Don't tell my wife. See the skin when you cook it like this? The skin underneath really it caramelizes a little bit. And People like that. I, I don't. I don't like the texture. It feels a little slimy to me, so I always remove my skin. That's under. That's under the meat. That's it. That's that's the cleanup. That's that's what's left. We're gonna take that. We're gonna throw that in trash. Discard it. Let the rest of the charcoal burn burn through and turn to ash. And uh, when you get this inside. Don't tell mom about that. That's between us. And uh, I'm gonna get this inside and make some tacos. 
All right, so here is the finished product. Put some beans and rice. When I say I did, I meant the missus. Nice big chunks. She said it tastes great. What did you say it tastes like? She's off camera. What did you say it tastes like? Just tell me the taste. Uh, it was very sweet and caramelized. She said it was very sweet and caramelized. I put that grub rub and I put a, a lot on there, like very healthy portion. And some lime juice and butter. We're gonna drizzle this on this taco. Drizzle, drizzle, because butter's good for you. Helps you grow hair on your hair. All right, so. I'm trying it in front of the camera, trying it. Mmm, that's really good. It's really good. Mmm. All right, guys, so I finally did it. I did a catch and cook. You know, I know it's been a long time coming. I just, I don't like cooking. I don't like cooking. And when I am cooking, I don't want to do anything else, you know, trying to record and hold the camera and do all that. You know, next time I do a catch and cook, somebody else is going to cook it. And I'm going to go over and I'll record them and we'll do a catch and cook that way. But half show is the way to go. You know, I've done redfish. I've done, thank you. I've done redfish, I've done sheep head. Sheep is really good in the half shell. This is really good too. I'm really surprised because I, I heard bad things about speckled trout. Um, I tried it before fried, but you can fry anything to make it taste good, I think. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm pleased with it. Half shell, I was nervous about doing it because I wasn't too sure with the skin and the small scale if it would burn through. But Captain Cody assured me it wouldn't. So I caught the fish, I cleaned the fish, I cooked the fish. Um, I didn't prepare it, that's all the misses. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna enjoy the fish. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet already. And until next time, hope you catch me hooking up. Thanks.